just got a piston Honda into the modular here and I'm gonna show you something about the ROM selector CV there it is looking all nice in the rack and we've got LFOs going into the wavetables seeing the wavetables there but I'm gonna show you this guy right here the ROM selector which is CVable as well uh, takes a gate signal or a square wave signal used as a gate and you can see it uh, going back and forth there and that's interesting on, with slow rates but it gets even better if you bump it up into audio rates you get interesting sidebands FM type ac action and I'm gonna cut to a studio recording so that uh, you can better hear what I mean alright here we have it uh, without anything going into the uh, selector into the ROM selector I'm gonna patch in uh, square wave from the cycle box And if you can see it, the lights are going, you can see when it's uh, selecting which wave with the square wave, which ROM with the square wave, I should say. It's pretty interesting, but let's crank it up into audio rate. So that's uh, up to audio rate and back, and um, we can do some other interesting things with, uh, well, with the cycle box, or if you have a wave folder, it'll work. Uh, if you uh, fold the, uh, the signal a bit, it gets a little kind of chaotic. You should probably use something other than a square wave. I'm not sure a square wave is... Uh, is very good for folding. You see it gets a little kind of more chaotic, not necessarily random, but... And then you could crank that up into audio radio as well and get something pretty interesting going on too. That's audio rate modulation of the ROM selector on the piston Honda.